Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Hakuoki Hakuo Hakuo Kyoto Wins. I almost combined Hakuoki with Kyoto. Off to a good start. Anyway, we are here to do Kazue Soma's route, who I rudely forgot about last time. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, yeah, we don't meet him for a little while. So let's get to where we meet him, shall we? Uh, first, let me look at my notes. So what we're going to do first is attempt to explain our situation. And then we're going to skip ahead. And then I'm going to drink some water because I already have like a scratch in my throat, which is not a good sign. Okay, and then decide to tell them I wasn't a boy. That's very important for <laughs> Soma later. Because he... I don't know when he'll figure out that we're not a boy. If we'll tell him early or if it'll be later. Because usually, if you don't see him here in the first chapter, he doesn't show up until that chapter... Either chapter 3 or chapter 4 is when he starts hanging around here. We saw quite a bit of him, like more of him, in the last route. So I don't know when he'll start becoming a more regular member of the team. But it should be interesting. I don't know what to expect from our interactions with him. But he seems like a pure sort of boy, so that's a good sign. Sorry, gonna continue to drink water. What the heck is going on with my throat? Hopefully not sick. I'm actually currently cold. Um, stay put. So if you hear rustling, it's because I've got a hot... Uh, I have a hot water bottle, and I also have a blanket wrapped around me. So the rustling is most likely the blanket as I'm trying to use my hands. Um, let's see. Wow, I had no idea. Uh, but yeah. I'm worried now that this inexplicable cold and this kind of scratchiness in the back of my throat is related. It doesn't look good for me. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't develop into anything. I wouldn't want to make Soma wait while I'm getting over a cold or something. That'd be rude. It's been very damp lately where I live. We've been getting like almost spring temperatures, but lots of rain and cold wind. So it's just very damp. Because it's warmer than normal temperatures, our furnace isn't going on as much. So I think it's a combination of those things. I'm hoping that's why I'm cold and not because my body has lost its ability to keep me warm. It's like you're sick now. Okay, what do we got? Okay, so Takada, my friend, my boy. <laughs> you were great, last route. I was gotta say. Don't know if you'll ever feature anything outside of Eva's route, but I'm glad we had that. It was a uh, it was a wonderful moment, and I'll treasure it forever. All right, we're returning, and the next time we make the choice to join certain boyos on their rounds, and then we can start getting into Soma's route a little bit. We have played through that a couple of times, but that is really when we get to know him. And we get to pick a new option this time, which will be nice. So, let's see. I need to join them on their rounds. So I'll just skip a little bit. There we go. Let's start from here. Although I was given approval to peruse the inner yard or the front gate, this was special. It was almost five months since I'd been able to step out of the headquarters and explore. It was as if I could take my first breath after being submerged underwater. Just make sure to stay close, yeah? I know you know, but you gotta watch your back in Kyoto. Got it. While tagging alongside the men on their rounds, I was served a dose of reality I wasn't prepared for. A pervasive sense of revulsion came from every pair of eyes laid on the Shinsengumi. However, when we met their judgmental gaze, they pretended to go about their business, shuffling themselves away. Their body language denoted a mixture of fear and disgust, as if they were paralyzed by rumors. Amidst the haze, I overheard someone mutter, The Mibu Wolves. What's the matter? You don't look too shabby. You feeling sick? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. 
I brought my voice to a whisper and quietly asked Harada a question. What are the Mibu wolves? I've heard it in murmurs from the townspeople since we started doing our rounds. Oh, that's our nickname! Since we were originally Ronin from the town of Mibu, they called us the Mibu wolves since we packed together. I'm not sure if being a wolf is something to be proud of. But why? You guys are protecting the safety of Kyoto, right? People from Kyoto don't like outsiders. Those bastards call us names, like bumpkins, and insult us with every chance they get. Well, we're not exactly in Edo, where you have a mixture of folks from different domains. It's no surprise to hear they're not exactly open-minded. As it stood, the warriors seemed used to how the townspeople treated them. I kept my hands at my side, keeping a keen eye around the city for any sign of my father. All of a sudden... Hey! What did you just say? Defying the Imperial warriors is no better than shooting an arrow at the Emperor! A group of thugs with greasy, unkempt hair were causing trouble with some of the townsfolk. Heisuke noticed the emerging fray and was quick to aid whomever the thugs were harassing. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? The Shinsengumi are here! Pipe down! Hmm, the Mibu wolves? The Ronin caught sight of the Shinsengumi's light blue jackets and drew his sword in response. It was clear, however, the Ronin were no match. Huh. Stay put. As long as you chumps don't start anything, we'll let you live. God damn it! One of the Ronin tried to make a run for it by pushing through the surrounding warriors. Hey! Wait up, you bastard! Heisuke chased after him, but the Ronin was quick at navigating the crowds, giving him the edge. I didn't think there was any chance of catching him, but then, appearing out of nowhere, is our boy. Just where do you think you're going? If you didn't do anything suspicious, there's no need for you to run. A mysterious samurai appeared, grabbing the Ronin's shoulders and stopping him in his tracks. Get out of my way! Ugh. The Ronin threw a punch at the samurai, landing in his face. Ha! Who do you think you are? You're just a two-bit punk. Stay out of this! The Ronin roared with a smug laughter. Attempting to run, he was stopped by Harada. Whoa, no. Where are you off to, little pea? Don't tell me you're a coward who's gonna betray his comrade and flee. You're going to come with us to headquarters. I hope you don't plan on having any visitors soon. God damn it! How dare you! Before the Ronin could swing his sword, Nagakora and Harada tackled and subdued him. What? what are you doing? Let me go! Shut up. You don't have a right to complain anymore. Any more and we'll hurt you. Heisuke approached the mysterious samurai who attempted to stop the Ronin. Thanks for helping. We owe you. The samurai sat on the floor with his head down, hiding his bloody, disgruntled face. Our first picture, yay. I didn't do this for you, so save your thanks for yourself. He wiped his mouth without wincing, adjusting his posture sheepishly. It sounded as if he was muttering to himself. Well, I guess the rumors are true. The Shinsengumi are nothing more than a bunch of hooligans. Pfft. He was right all along. Heisuke was visibly angered by the samurai's words. Hey! Where do you get off calling us a bunch of hooligans? <sighs> Don't you get it? Everyone in Edo is saying it. Shinsengumi. A bunch of selfish, self-absorbed, bloodthirsty murderers. The samurai's harsh words rung deep within Harada, causing him to grab the samurai's collar and push him against the wall. Ugh. What the hell did you just say? Why are you shooting the messenger? He asked me, so I answered. Well, why don't you man up and tell us what you really think? Not just the hot rumors floating all around Edo. Open up, now. W wait I already told you that I had nothing to do with this bullshit! Hey, you! Standing over there! Come over here and give me a hand! Give it up, man. Once Sano's on a roll, there's no stopping him. He doesn't play around, especially with jokesters. If you want any chance of making it out of here, I suggest you apologize to me and my friends. 
So, is that what people in Edo are saying about us now? Well... He turned away awkwardly and a piece of paper dropped out of his inner pocket. Hmm? What's this? Harada reached down to pick up the piece of paper and the samurai's eyes widened in panic. Wait! Don't touch that! The samurai raced his hand down to grab the paper, but Nagakura and Heisuke were faster than him. Whoa there! Unhand me! What do you think you're doing? With two men holding him down, the samurai's desperate attempts to break free of their grasp were hopeless. They were far too strong. We should be asking you the same thing. Why are you acting so suspiciously? Shut up, you bunch of hooligans! Harada grabbed the piece of paper and examined it as Nagakora and Heisuke argued with the samurai. His face wore a deeply concerned expression. I wasn't able to catch a glimpse myself. My heart pounded. Was it a lead from my father? Did it describe a plot against the Shinsengumi? Suddenly, Harada looked up to question him. All right, where did you get this drawing? Harada's tone of voice shifted as if the two were locked in a duel to the death. Huh? What's on it? Nagakora could sense something was off with Harada. Harada handed the piece of paper to Nagakora without speaking a word. Nagakora examined it for a second before passing it to Heisuke, both of whom snapped into alertness. None of you know who you're dealing with. You won't get away with this. I'm a samurai. We don't care. You're going to answer us right now. The conversation shifted into an interrogation, one party in full control and demanding answers. The samurai glared intensely at the captains, but his words did not match his intensity. An acquaintance from Edo gave it to me. Who is this acquaintance? What gives you the right to question me? This is none of your business. That's nice, but we're the ones who decide whether or not it's our business. Just kindly answer the questions and no one gets hurt. Harada was clearly growing frustrated with the samurai's lack of cooperation. It was clear the samurai had nowhere to run, so he gave in, hoping to be let go. Okay. It's an apprentice of an artisan Edo. I don't have anything else I can tell you. So, did this apprentice give you this drawing, or did they sell it to someone looking for it? It wasn't for sale. I begged them for it, and they gave it to me. That's it. Is this the only copy of this drawing? Are there more of these in circulation? I have no idea about that, but as far as I know, this is the only one. I see. Harada held the piece of paper in his hands, exhaling while staring at it pensively. Nagakora continued. Here is what's going to happen. We're going to take the drawing to headquarters along with you. What do you mean? Why do I have to go with- The desperation in his voice was palpable, but Nagakora and Harada gave him no chance to leave. Stop complaining. You gonna tell us your name, finally? The samurai fired a glance at Harada so sharp it could have cut, but he finally relented. Soma. My name is Kazue Soma. Hmm. Soma, huh? Well, just consider yourself unlucky and let it go. We'll discuss everything at headquarters. If we learn you're innocent, then you'll be free to go. Despite Heisuke's reassurances, Shoma Soma showed no signs of giving up and seethed with anger. How the hell am I supposed to believe anything you say? You're taking me away without any proof of wrongdoing. Give us a chance to resolve things peacefully, at least. Stop your complaining. Heisuke seemed to be acting genuinely to Soma. I was surprised they didn't do anything worse. So, we apprehended Soma, along with the Ronin from earlier, and had returned to headquarters. I was still curious about what the drawing was on the piece of paper. Perhaps it's best that I don't know. The men kept to themselves quietly on our walk. We're gonna find out shortly. Very shortly. Once we returned to the compound, all of the captains were gathered. They circled around Soma silently, glaring intently at him. The air was suffocatingly still. I hadn't felt this way at the headquarters since my arrival. So, mind telling me who's responsible for this drawing? I don't know. Don't play dumb. 
You said you knew the artist. I don't recall. Alright, you bastard. You better watch yourself with the lies. We can play this game. The game is, if you don't talk, then I get to stab you. Sound like fun. Okita reached for his sword, but Saito moved his arm in front to stop him. Wait, Soji. Sano needs to talk first. Soma, was it? When you look at this drawing, what does it tell you? What do you see? It's a Shinsengumi warrior wearing light blue. True, the kimono confirms it. However, the person in this drawing has white hair, red eyes, and his mouth is torn and bloody. Nothing else ca came to mind when you looked at this drawing. Nothing at all. I know it doesn't look great, but I didn't think anything of it. I'd only heard rumors about the Shinsengumi being demons. It's just a drawing. I see. Demon, huh? I guess he's on point. Well, that certainly narrows down the suspects. There are only so many people who know the Shinsengumi well enough to draw us. It has to be Ibuki, right? Soma's eyes grew wide, telegraphing that his secret was revealed by Sanon. He was defeated, nodding to Sanon. I'm only going to ask this one more time. Is there only one copy of this drawing? Y yes He told me to throw it away and entrusted it to me to do as he told. But it's just a drawing, right? Why am I being captured over a drawing? Imagine what were to happen if a drawing of the Shinsengumi as demons were to get around town. Surely it is not lost on you that our reputation stands to lose a lot because of this drawing, no? Well, yes, you do have a point. Glad that's sorted. We're confiscating this. That's all right with you, isn't it? Sanan's rhetorical question left Soma no room to negotiate, leaving him to, to sigh in defeat. <sighs> Fine. Do what you will. This means I'm free to go, right? I'm of no further use to you. His face looked haggard, exhausted from stress. Kondo stepped forward slowly and nodded. You're Soma, right? My name is Isumi Kondo, the chief of the Shinsengumi, under the supervision of the Aizu Domain. First and foremost, I want to apologize for our inhospitable treatment. Please forgive us for this. Kondo exerted his extreme courteousness by bowing deeply and sincerely. Soma was caught off guard by his act of kindness, his eyes growing wide. Instantly, he became flustered. P please let me see your face. You're the chief of the Shinsengumi, right? Sir, there is no need for you to bow before a lowly person like me. I don't blame Soma for being so surprised. The samurai way of life dictates that honor and hierarchy are more important than life itself. Supposedly, the punishment for dishonoring yourself can be dishonoring your entire family, even for one poor display of manners. Well, because I am the chief, I think I should be the first to admit when wrongdoing is committed. The tide of how the world views the samurai may change, but it is our duty to uphold our code. Although we strive to do what it takes to be a samurai, we gain nothing from using the same methods as the most corrupt samurai. <clears throat> Soma was dumbfounded. He didn't speak or move. It was as if he'd never been shown a similar kindness in his entire life. Kondo glanced kindly at Soma, his eyes turning to communicate a sense of safety. So, the man who gave you this drawing, Ibuki, how is he? Is he well? Oh, yes, sir. Very much so. Oh? I'm glad to hear it. Isn't that right, Toshi? Hm, <laughs> I don't remember him. Hechikata didn't care for Kondo's olive branch. However, Hijikata's body language seemed forced, making me feel as if he was secretly relieved that this Ibuki person is doing well. The other captains, too, reflected a collective sense of relief, easing the tensions from earlier. Was this Ibuki a friend of the Shinsengumi? It's strange to think how, about how large they are and about how many and how many friends they've met and lost in time. 
It was obvious that Kondo deserved his place as chief, though, for his warm demeanor. If I may, I shall take my leave soon. However, I would like to apologize for the indecency and lack of propriety shown to your men today. Soma seemed like a completely different person to the man we met earlier, and he bowed deeply. Aw, he'll be a bean, I'm sure. I wish you all well. Heisuke, Nagakora, and Harada escorted him to the gate. I think they wanted to see him off. Hey, sorry for dragging you all the way here. Well, if you had listened to me in the beginning, you would have known that I was innocent. There was no need to take my drawing from me. Aw, oh, don't be like that. If the contents of that drawing got out, it would have been even worse for you. Consider it a favor. Hmm, perhaps you have a point, but still. Well, at least we got word of Ryanosuke's whereabouts, so why don't we call it Case Closed? Sure. Soma, was it? Seeing as we can put the past behind us now, why don't you swing by the base and hang out with us when you get the chance? Hang out with you? I think if I get involved with the Shinsengumi, there would be a bevy of possible repercussions for me. Oh yeah, you're working for the Domain, huh? I guess if word gets out that you're hanging with us, you could get trouble. Well, our Domain is... Well, would you look at the time. I think I have to grab dinner stuff. Sano, Heisuke, let's roll. Sure thing. Anyways, later, Soma. Let's hang out again. Oh, sure. The three of them hurried off to shop for their dinner ingredients, once again leaving me behind. Soma looked at me shyly, and we both smiled faintly before finding the courage to speak. Alright, it's our time. Oh, um, I forgot to ask you. Are you a warrior of the Shinsengumi as well? Um... What should I say? Actually, I'm a page. Even though lying is never a good thing, telling the truth about my situation would have more than likely just confused Soma. Y yes I'm a page. Soma hung his head low and muttered to himself, something that was slowly appearing to be a habit. Aww. Wow. He's impressed. Huh. I guess the Shogun is even recruiting people of your age for the sake of our domain. Now that the Takagawa's hereditary daimyo is... Soma's voice trailed off as he shook his head. Oh, what a nice smile. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Please send everyone my regards. Oh, sure. Goodbye. I bowed politely and Soma walked towards the gate. Soma was so full of mystery, reminding me just how far I was from home. I turned to head back to headquarters alone in the bleak summer night. Alright. And now, who can say when he'll show up? Alright, so we end chapter one with that high note. Chapter two. All right, and before we get into it, let's... is it the warrior record? I think, yes. Okay. There he is. We are budding. Okay. Good sign. Let us skip ahead, because it's probably going to be a while unless he pulls surprises on us, like a certain last boy talking about you, Hachiro. I guess we will see Hachiro at least once in this route. Um, I need to remain in the compound for the Aketa Inn stuff. Alright. Skip, 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 skip. Oh, hello, Sanan. <laughs> Sanan figured stuff out so quickly with that boy. Too smart. Alright, so trying to think if... I don't think we'll see uh, Soma with this incident. I'd be very surprised if we did. But I don't know when he inserts himself, really. I don't have a good enough read on him to even, like, wager a guess.
All I know is that I gotta play the fool. <laughs> so I don't get uh, any bonus points with any of these guys. Tamazaki, you should go. And I'm gonna go with Toshi by the looks of things. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if he shows up before the end of this chapter. Let's see. Stay with the Jakarta. Watch him be awesome with one of the best beams, Yamazaki. Too many beans in this game. It's hard to pick a best bean. Yamazaki is pretty good though, man. I really like them. Okay, so the in incident happened. The incident. Ha ha ha. And then, what happens next? We don't get I Ito yet, do we? No, Hachiro comes first. Okay. I shouldn't have any dialogue options here because we hadn't met you before. So that'll be good. I'm glad you don't have a uh, <laughs> demon claw hand or as someone else mentioned, a kind of like a T-Rex hand. <laughs> Even your normal hand looks kind of like a T-Rex hand. It's just kind of hanging there off your swords. Bye, Hachiro. Hope your next half of your route is good when I get there. For a second I was excited and thought that we were uh, getting something new. But no. No, no, no. Oh. This thing. Um, so. I will stay behind. I don't need to go to war with you guys. That's quite alright, because Soma apparently doesn't go there. Alright, will he come and visit while everyone else is gone? Or will we just kind of skip over things? Hmm. Oh, right. Um. Checking on people. Eh, common room. Alright. And then we'll see what the next thing is. We should get a kind of a recap of what happened while they were at war. Right? Okay. We met all the demon boys. They caused trouble. <laughs> they oops, knocking my microphone. They will continue to cause trouble. I see you, slow fading thing, date thing. Okay. Harada motioned his troops to stop and he scanned the perimeter. A few Ronin seemed to be causing a ruckus in front of a cafe. A month passed since Kyoto underwent the flames of the Hamaguri Rebellion. Okay. For the first time in a while, I had the chance to wander the streets of. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Pardon me, that came on like so fast, I had no idea. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Uh, wander the streets of Kyoto and survey it. <clears throat> the civilians all live such a peaceful life. It's hard to even imagine that a battle was waged here only a month ago. Oh yeah, huh. You've been spending so much time with Soji and Heisuke that it's been a little bit since you've gotten out, huh? Seems like Yoru is used to this kind of thing. The very next day, people were out and about. I listened intently as Harada led me through the city which buzzed around us. It was inspiring, almost poetic, how the city healed itself, filled with laughter and smiles on the faces of those who found pockets of time to enjoy life. It gave me hope that, no matter how bleak things seemed, how much fighting there was, things could recover. The city was filled with dreams. Of course, this meant that perhaps my father was here, alive, and that my idle observations were not enough to find him. For now. Oh? That person. 
Huh? What's the matter? Is it Kodo? No, it's not my father, but don't you know who that person is, Harada? Harada and I stopped in our tracks, and the man I pointed out approached us. Is it our boy? Hey! Y you guys are from the Shinsengumi. Oh, Soma, was it? Long time no see, pal. How's it hanging? Y yup, yeah, things are well. As I recall, he was a young samurai whom we encountered a few months ago, which happened to be the first time I left the compounds. So, you visited Kyoto again, Soma? Yes, just arrived the other day. My domain told me to check how the city's doing after the battle. Are you guys... patrolling right now? Yep, exactly. Soma turned his head to see the troop following behind Harada and me, and he nearly gulped with surprise. On the rounds, then, huh? Something the matter? You look confused. Oh, I just remembered when I first met the Shinsengumi, you guys were on your rounds. That's so, huh? Sorry about the other day. Well, I mean, the chief apologized himself, and I really had no choice but to accept the apology. Ugh. I've never heard of a person who just bowed down to someone lower than him without hesitation. If he thinks he's done something wrong, he mans up and apologizes. That's the kind of chief he is. That's not an easy thing to do. My interruption seemed to ease the tension between Harada and Soma. I guess I didn't realize it during then, but you guys are actually doing rounds, huh? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You make it sound like we're a bunch of bums. Oh, well, like I said before, I'd only heard bad rumors of the Shinsengumi in Edo, and it's not like I had the best first impression of you guys. I thought the only thing you did in your rounds was rough people up, not actually help people. So you just thought we're a loud, rowdy bunch who just want to intimidate people around us. I'm not going to deny that. Soma paused before speaking, and Harada scratched his chin lightly before making an offer. Then why don't you join us in our rounds? You can see for yourself what we do in Kyoto. You want me to join the Shinsengumi rounds? Would that be appropriate, Harada? He's the one who came to see how Kyoto's doing, right? Seems like a good opportunity to me. Besides, you can tell your little domain that you snooped on the Shinsengumi. Bet they'd love it. You make some good points. You've piqued my interest, so I'll tag along. The three of us caught up with the warriors who trudged along while we talked. Harada went towards the front to give orders. Meanwhile, Soma and I stayed towards the back of the troop, and Soma stared at me timidly before scanning the rest of the troop. Soma observed the streets as the rounds took place, and he sighed heavily. <sighs> Back in Edo, they say the Shinsengumi are just some wannabe ronin who act like punks. But they're so organized. They seem proud of what they do. Way different than I thought. I thought the same thing when I first heard about the Shinsengumi. But... I hear anyone who shows cruelty to civilians is punished severely. I see. So that's the way of the Shinsengumi, huh? His thoughts seemed to stir as Soma watched the warriors march. Then Harada halted to call someone out. Hey, it's the Odongo place. Hey! Over there, you Ronin! This is a public street. What are you doing here? If I hear of any funny business, the Shinsengumi will stomp any of you out. Harada motioned his troops to stop, and he scanned the perimeter. A few Ronin seemed to be causing a ruckus in front of a cafe. Shinsengumi? It's none of your business! Get out of here! Yeah, where does a couple of regulars here? Oh, really, now? You two sure are overstaying your welcome if you're a couple of regulars. Hey, boss, are they telling the truth? Well, um, uh, they are regular customers here. See, I told you so. The Mibu wolves have no business here. We're doing them a favor by drinking and eating here out of the goodness of our hearts. This store should be thanking us. 
The goodness of your hearts. You guys look like nothing but a couple of Ronin. Besides, what you guys are suggesting sounds like extortion to me. Hey, sounds like they're causing trouble. You sure it's okay? Well, um... I'm sorry, everyone, but I really want no trouble. I beg of everyone to keep it peaceful here. Hear that? He says he wants peace, so all of you should get out of here. Yeah, get your head out of your ass. You're all just the Shogunate's bitches. Alright, that's enough. I have no intention of leaving while the two of you run your mouths. I'll take you all on! Interesting. Why don't you show us what the Shinsengumi is all about? Hold on, fella. Are you suggesting you're going to draw your sword on us when we did nothing? You're the ones who provoked us, knowing well we're Shinsengumi. I'm just returning the favor. Come on, bring it on! Is your tongue the only muscle that works here? Or is that thing on your hip too heavy for you? Screw you! The Shinsengumi is nothing! I'll fight you! Yah! You're going to regret this later! Of course I won't! I'm Sanosuke Harada, captain of the Shinsengumi's 10th division! Remember my name! Well, w what is going on? Seems like an arrest is about to happen. Stay back, Soma. I like that she's nonchalant about it. Wait, I thought she and Sugumi were all about order. Soma was dumbfounded, but before he knew it, the arrest was beginning to take place. <laughs> Just like that. And it was done in an instant. The Ronin were subdued in the blink of an eye when facing an all-out Shinsengumi attack. Some of the men gathered a few Ronin to hold at the compounds for questioning. Civilians who witnessed this muttered silently. Ah, uh, that's why the Mibu wolves are so... If they had paid, things would have been resolved peacefully. How terrible for the cafe. Hearing their mumbled discussions always made me greatly uncomfortable. I mean, the Shinsengumi men only arrested Ronin outlaws in the best interest of protecting the city and its people. Once things settled down, Harada returned to us, and Soma looked disgruntled as he stared down. Hey, sorry you had to see things get crazy. You know, in the beginning, I was impressed by how organized your troop was. I was almost convinced that the rumors of the gruff Shinsengumi were just that. Rumors. And I wanted to believe that you truly were working to protect the peace of Kyoto. But it was all a lie. You're just what people say you are. Even the people of Kyoto are afraid of you. They don't want to be next on your hit list. Hey, Soma. Do you know what it means to protect the peace of Kyoto? If someone was committing extortion right in front of me, do you think I should just let it go? Well, no, but... There has to be a better way of resolving it. There are people who aren't convinced by words, and we don't have the time to convince them before they start getting violent. That's what it takes to protect the peace of Kyoto. It's the Shinsengumi's job. I understand, but doesn't it mean anything if your name is dragged through the mud? If you keep it up, people will continue to call you names like murderers or hooligans. I... Met you guys from that one incident. Then I met Kondo and Hijikata at the compounds. So, I'm starting to figure out what kind of people all of you are. But for people in the city who don't know you, and for people out of the city who rely on rumors, all you are to them is a bunch of hooligans! Gee, thanks. Are you that worried about us? I it's not like that! Well, when we started up as the Roshigumi, what you suggested wasn't too far off from the truth. The original name used by the group that would eventually become the Shinsengumi. What? There were some hooligans who caused trouble for some townsfolk. People who knew of us back then only thought of us as a bunch of selfish pricks. I'm sure the artist who drew that woodblock print hasn't forgotten our sordid past. Harada's lips clenched bitterly, and he faced Soma with a biting seriousness. 
But I assure you, that's not who we are anymore. We earn the name of the Shinsengumi, and it is our mission to keep peace in Kyoto. We hold steadfast towards our mission, to give our name and our men the honor they deserve. Of course, some people won't ever get it, but I know someday they'll come around. Um, Mr. Samurai of the Shinsengumi? <laughs> uh, oh, Mr. Samurai? Oh, you're the owner, right? Sorry for the trouble. Feel free to drop by our headquarters to let us know about any damage you incurred. Oh no, thank you so much for earlier. I deal with customers all day, and it would have been very awkward to reprimand their behavior. Don't mention it, boss. If people saw you calling on us for help, I'm sure you'd lose some customers. Oh, I see what happened. If you'd like, why don't you all come inside? I will prepare some tea for everyone right away. Well, why not? It couldn't hurt to rest a little. Harada beckoned to his men to come inside and enjoy some tea, while the mood in the city settled nicely once the commotion was over. <laughs>